Hey guys, welcome to episode six of Down to Business, a weekly web series where we talk about building a business from the ground up. Today, we have a bunch of general questions as well as a special guest, a former TV star turned life coach, uh, Laura Bonarigo. So uh, I can't wait to get into it. Let's go ahead and get down to business. Bradford asks, how do you feel about somebody starting a business in a field they have little experience in, but their advisors and people on salary have tons? Bradford, that's a great question, one that I get very often. In my opinion, an entrepreneur who's passionate about an area that they're entering never lets anything stop them anyway. Although, an entrepreneur that has industry experience has a little bit of an advantage because they know the ins and outs and the nuances. They know what can and can't be done. However, at the same time, that can work as a disadvantage because you have preconceived limitations, you're jaded, you're biased. So oftentimes, the entrepreneur that ends up disrupting an industry in a dramatic way uh, is an entrepreneur such as maybe yourself who's entering a space, doesn't know it quite well, but is surrounded by people who do. It ends up being a very, very good uh, blend of ignorance and curiosity, if you will. So I don't think it should stop you one bit. I think you go full throttle. Best of luck to you, my friend. Bradford also asks, if the entrepreneur doesn't have enough money to start, what would you recommend the best option to take? Bradford, another great question here, sir. I think if you're a first time founder, we're rarely gonna have the resources available to build a company comfortably. And so I used to think that was a curse, turned out to be a blessing. Why? Forces you to be efficient to make decisions quickly and to focus on making money, not spending it. So I think you should focus on building audience uh, and stay focused on closing those sales. Uh, and the things that you need will be revealed to you as you go along one step at a time. Don't forget my friend, deploy just as much patience as you do ambition and you're gonna be all right. Best of luck, Bradford. All right guys, with us, Laura Bonarigo, as I mentioned, actress turned life coach. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Glad, you? glad to be here. You feeling good? I feel great. Okay, yeah. let's get into the first question that we have for Miss Bonarigo. Matthew asks, I am a life coach developing a new social media dating website. Which method is best to market and launch my services? We couldn't have a better question for you. Right. Uh, it's a gentleman who's a life coach and he's needing to market and launch his business. I want to ask you, yeah. what have you been doing that's working for you that maybe can work for this guy? Uh, working, I, I, I network, I talk to people, I, to, to start, to really start, I had to do all of my free coaching and then mm. all of those people either became paying clients or mm. they made a referral. Uh, there's, there's so much value to doing something <laughs> for free to begin with. Absolutely. And I, I know that people are like kind of afraid of that, but in reality, it's a numbers game, right? It's a numbers game, and actually you've given me even more ideas that I am giving more and more away for free. Mm. Because and it's a different marketplace now. It's a different marketplace. Yeah. And so like, for instance, this video right now is free. For free. Right, and like people are watching. Right. Gaining value. Yeah. And as a result, like this, this momentum kind of snowballs. Uh, and so like in your coaching business, if you have I have uh, workshops. Exactly. I have so many workshops that I do for free, mm -hmm. different topics because I'm interested in a lot of topics. Mm -hmm. So then that turns, you know, a hundred to five hundred to a thousand uh, clients who otherwise wouldn't be in your funnel at all. Well, they would know me, and also, you know, you made this really, really clear to me. It's uh, when you do life coaching. Well, you know, what is life coaching? What is dating coaching? You know, we have to kind of understand and trust this person that we're in relationship with. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So how does that, how do you get to know me? Exactly. And you get to know them through this through very this. same thing right. that we're doing here. That's so right. uh, I think you have some good nuggets here uh, and I really do wish you all the best. Can't wait to hear your updates. All right, guys, that's all we have for you for episode six of Down to Business. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, if this brought you any value at all, please do share it with your friends and fam. That's the biggest compliment you can pay me. Also a huge shout out to Laura for stopping by. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing her on and we're gonna do an entire episode around relationships and business. And we're dropping that on Valentine's Day week. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'm your host, John Henry, and until next time, see ya.